If you are someone who happens to sit in chairs and use devices and computers that might find tightness in the hips and immobilization in the shoulders, this movement is for you. You may need to chock up your heels with something. We're gonna come down into a squat position. The hip is a ball and socket joint, but for many of us, we've been training the hip by sitting in chairs to think it's a hinge joint. That's gonna have a huge knock-on effect on the rest of our body. So this might be just where you start by starting to bring yourself into a squat position and working up to holding this position anywhere from three to five minutes in a day. And that can be incremental, right? If you would like a little bit more as we start to work into the shoulders, we might start to get this external rotation into the shoulder joint. So maybe just sweeping the left shoulder open and coming back and then sweeping the right shoulder open and coming back. As we start to progress this, maybe that left hand touches down and we start to bring in an element of the back bend with this movement. So we're really opening through the shoulder joint and then also using that hand that's on the ground to extend and open up through the chest, really feeling this really beautiful movement now through the spine, the opposite to what we do when we're on devices. Our bodies are up to us and what we do with them. We all have five minutes a day to get off here and put it back into yourself.